Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the past with Samurai. Uh, we changed the future. Lune. We caused the time paradox. I, I just can never. I love those bits. So, do you know the story behind those those little bonus movies in Metal Gear Solid Three? No. Oh, the time paradox yeah. movies. Yeah, but you know the, like why they happened? No. So apparently, and I don't know how this truth was, but this was just a story my friends told me was uh, when they finished Metal Gear Solid Three, they had a bunch of extra they were actually under budget so they had a ton of money left in the animation budget so Are they you just kidding animated me? all those shorts for fun wait they had extra money in the animation budget wait a second Hideo Kojima went under budget I know that too is surprising but it's just like we've got all this these animators with nothing to do let's make a bunch of joke videos <laughs> And that's literally my favorite thing, pretty much in the entire Metal Gear Solid series, is those joke videos. I think a lot of people find uh, Metal Gear Solid 3 just wonderful as is. It's, it, it's arguably the best in the series. Yeah. Um, I mean, depending, like, they all have their perks. A lot of people consider um, 2 to be, like, the artsiest for good reason, while uh, 4 was certainly a technical achievement. Wait a second, why didn't you teleport here if you're going down here? I thought you were going to go to the lake. You know... Uh -oh. Um, I thought this was closer to the Caves of Management. Oh, no, well. the Caves of Management totally has a teleporter. Oh, well, we're here now. Oh, yeah. You're right. I hit, I selected the wrong one. Oh, God. Bats! Why didn't you go back to the same oh, point it's, to it's heal? it's because there's this room here. Oh, of course. Which was still easier to get to. Oh, oh. oh. Huh, huh. Well, what did I say? What did <laughs> I say? <laughs> peace treaty! The peace treaty! You actually found the fucking peace treaty! What did, what did I say last episode <laughs> about utilizing time and the double jump? What did I say about using the word utilize? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! Okay. Letters. Peace treaty. By Elena pleading for peace with Volette. That just happened to get lost in the tunnels. Australian accent? Oh, God. Emperor Voltaireless. I send this missive with Queen Philia, rightful ruler of independent Lachiam, to augment her entreaty for peace. Dingoes ate her baby. Shrimp on the bar. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta use some sort of mnemonic to try a terrible attempt at Australians. I you hate sex behind my back! I offered. <laughs> hey, Mr. Prime Minister, I offered to come in her stead, given our history together, but she believed it important to represent her world herself. I hope you recognize the honor in that. We have taken control of the portal between our worlds. As you have seen, we have strength. We have allies. We have learned to survive on this world. We will not fall even to the bleakness. If this conflict continues, thousands more will die, and you will be no closer to subduing us. We entreat you. Let us end this now. We are still willing to negotiate an arrangement like I suggested those years ago. Some of the vast resources of Lockheed M for plasma from Valette. A mutually beneficial agreement. Please listen to Philia. She is wise, and she wants only peace. Don't make the same mistake as before. Princess Elena of Lachiam. So the so, Lachiami were the peaceful ones. The Lachiami <gasps> were the ones who weren't desiring to they kill were. everyone all along. Except for the bleakness. And, you know, except for one particular Lachiam who has red hair. <sighs> what? I think you mis mixed that up. No, I... Lachiami who has red hair? Did I say red? Yes, you said red. Oh, I'm sorry. I meant red with the blood of their enemies. Oh, oh yeah, then definitely you <laughs> meant. I've killed a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I have not stopped to wash my hair. You know, my you know bleak, how hard it is to find. Yeah, you know how hard it is to find conditioner that gets up blood stains in the past. My condition is murdery. Yeah. It doesn't need to be conditioned further. That was why it was because of that emptiness there. That was why I selected that one. Yeah, you made me forget and doubt myself. I am so so bored. Uh I, be <laughs> I believe you. Apology accepted. <laughs> okay, now to go swimming. And some different siren, ur siren urine. Hooray! I bet they'll I also I poop on you. <laughs> for them to poop on. <laughs> or for me to be pooped on. <laughs> Is Triumph the Insult Comic Dog still doing stuff? I have no idea. I, that was actually something I never really got into. I, of course, heard of him. I only liked him when he guest starred on Conan. I, I didn't watch too much of his other stuff. But I did appreciate um, some of the... Because I've also no, never been a huge Insult comic. More sand. Yes, sand. Sand. Kind of sand. Uh... And they were too big into insult comedy, um, so I was never a huge fan. But I always enjoyed whenever I saw him guest star on Conan O'Brien, because I was a huge uh, late night with Conan watcher back in the day. Yeah, you were you were into the Daily Show and late night with Conan O'Brien. Uh, is there anything... and the Colbert Report? Oh, sorry, and the in the Colbert Report has anything really replaced them since they kind of like went down? I mean, I liked the Nightly Show with Larry Wilmore, but then it got canceled. And I'm after sorry. that went down, um, I couldn't get into Trevor Noah. I think he's supposedly gotten better, but I was just I gave him like over a year, and I just. I felt like he wasn't, his jokes were, uh, what's the phrase, like, they lacked any sort of barb. 
They were, they were like impotent. They didn't speak truth to power. I felt like when I was watching it, I was getting the same kind of stereotypical jokes I got I, like if I was watching Jay Leno or um, Jimmy Fallon, which is not what I fell in love with The Daily Show for. I wanted them to speak... Yeah, you okay, like... Oh, I was about to get poisoned again. You like your Lord of the Rings humor. Yeah. <laughs> well, yes, I, I do love how big a nerd Colbert was, but I just felt like it lacked teeth. It was never actually like really taking people to task for things, and it was just kind of regurgitating tired tropes. I really feel like I should be able to duck down there. It's probably... I can probably get to it through the lake. Yeah, I'm, I'm assuming that that's all. Like the, or it'll open up later when you can burn down wood mm -hmm. and stuff. Like, but I liked Larry Wilmore. Like, he, his comedy had teeth. Um, there were some problems with, uh, like, I didn't... The panel format never quite gelled, which he did instead of interviews, which I understand why they did it, to make it feel different. But I, I loved whenever Larry, like, did, I loved his viewpoint. I loved that they tackled issues other people didn't. I was very sad when it was canceled. Then once that went off the air, and then, um... Like, the only night... It wasn't even a night show. I watched at midnight because it was improv. Yeah! Poops! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I watched at midnight because I liked... It was basically improv, so that's what I liked about it. But once, like, uh, Viacom took all its shows off of Hulu, that, 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 like, killed it. Like, I stopped watching late night shows. I didn't have I didn't have anything I watched regularly anymore. I mean, Full Frontal with Samantha B is good, but uh, it's TBS. I just haven't been able... Like, it's not easy to watch, and I haven't been able to get into it. Uh, I, could, I would probably enjoy watching Colbert on CBS, except a similar issue, CBS is awful with its online stuff, so I just occasionally see some of the clips that are uh, left on YouTube, and that's about it. I don't get to watch it regularly. Yeah, it's, like, there's a lot of media companies that don't really have a good foot in the door of the online world. Yeah. And, like, they probably don't want to, because they're, they're going to have to compete with everyone else, but it's like online banking. Like, why wouldn't you do it? Mm -hmm. um, like, even if you have a shitty online banking system, it's better than having none. Yep. Yeah. Like, I'm ser I would seriously not own a TV unless it actually reduced my bill. I mean, I the only reason I even have cable TV is because it's cheaper. It's literally cheaper to have it than to buy just internet. Yeah. I, the, I, I don't even same. use it because I literally have no actual hookups in my apartment. I'm literally paying for a service I don't use. That's exactly what I'm talking about, where, where, where I said the bill is actually cheaper because yep. we own a TV. Same thing here. Yeah. Yeah, if it wasn't for that, I would just use the computer all the time. Mm -hmm. I'd read my books. I mean, I do use the computer all the me. time. I literally don't use my cable. I'm forced to <laughs> uh, pay for it. Because, like... Wait, was there no what? story stuff here? That's lame. Just just bonus stuff. Okay. Just, that... What are you talking about? Every sand has a story. Yeah, <laughs> What okay. were you years ago? Yeah, okay, peace, Nick. Poop? <laughs> <laughs> uh, were you a, siren a poop? <laughs> yeah, a vase from an ancient civilization? Wyvern poop? The possibilities are endless. Oh man, it would be great if you had a time travel game where you could do something like that, where like, you could do like a butterfly effect and you have to do that to like solve the oh puzzles. God, that'd be awful. That actually does sound like a fun game. Why can't I go down here? Ah, probably have to burn it. <laughs> burn everything. That's the only solution. Well, I mean, if it uh, works, I mean, don't knock until you try it. Ah. Well, now that you're poisoned, might as well go through the whole I know, thing until so I don't have to get poisoned again. Uh. Good Sprite, heal me faster than the poison can kill me. You're not going to, cause you are a bitch. I'm not, <laughs> that's not true. You're actually quite a nice character. But like, I'm just unhappy with your healing rate. <laughs> if you're... Mercy players, am I right? <laughs> I, don't, Fuck I, don't, you. <laughs> I don't actually play Overwatch, I just saw the opportunity there. <laughs> I'm sorry, are you a mercy player? Did that hit a little too close to I'm home? a support main. Yeah. So, like, I, I, my favorite is Anna, but since, like, okay, I, I actually, the triple tank meta, guys, I know, it sucks, <laughs> and I know um, people like me enabled it, but... <laughs> you're, you're the problem. Okay, I play Brigida now more often, but, but like, so I, I mean, I that's just I don't understand any of these words. <laughs> okay, so I used to be the sni I'm, I'm sure I used to be the mace. sniper girl who healed people, mm -hmm. and now I'm the girl with the mace who who hits people and heals people. Mm. Um, Whoa, cool enemy! Neat. Hit him with your whammer. What's this? My whammer? <laughs> yes. Wham! Oh my god! You kill them both at yeah, once. Yeah, there was two. Elemental uh, beads. That's where I left my beads. You. <laughs> Why do you do this to me? <laughs> Why would you do something so lewd? Why well, you gotta be so lewd? <laughs> oh. Okay. Help. I think I just became like 10% more anime saying that. <laughs> lewd. Baka. Honey-chan. <laughs> Whoa, that, now, that was like a, another 40% anime. Oh god, I'm 50% anime. Oh, yeah. god. Stop before it spreads. 
Soon you will taste my <laughs> ultimate power. <laughs> sorry, I'm just imagining like in your next Doctor Who appointments. I'm, I'm sorry, Ogre, but the the, the the anime spread to your lungs and it just like shows a, like an X-ray and something with anime eyes in your lungs. You know not to look at my lungs, but <laughs> <laughs> oh god, it's even worse than I thought. <laughs> Sugoi <laughs> Desne. Oh god. I mean, the end of at work today, and like my coworkers looked at me like I was a fucking idiot. <laughs> well, good. Because obviously you were. <laughs> Goes without saying. Uh, man, sometimes I'm like, I think anime is mainstream, and then shit like that happens. Like, it's not quite mainstream it's not, yet. It's not. Yeah. Ow. 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 There we go. <laughs> Uh, I, I'm sure I don't have brain damage. <laughs> I'm sure your brain damage is fine. <laughs> brain damage, 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 damage. Uh, you turn that into a song. I'm looking at you, YouTube. <laughs> you take that shit and you song it, fire it up. Kentucky Fried Shavir drumsticks. And here's yeah. another, another water thing. Wee. I feel like there should be something here. Oh. I dare you, YouTube, to songify <laughs> that up. <laughs> No, where did, no, no. Where did no. Spotify get a name? I think Songify would probably work. Well, nah. uh, Songify is a channel. That's what the Gre Gre or it's a series by the Gregory Brothers, who are awesome, and you should check out their channel and their videos. What? Really? Yeah. What? It's called Songify This, and they were because they were originally got famous back when I was in college, because which is totally recent. Shut up. Yeah, uh, it was. It was it, like yes, it was like three weeks ago. Yeah, as, <laughs> as an art major, just three weeks is like what 40, yeah. 50 centuries. Yeah, I was, it's. I was in college three weeks ago, and that was when they were doing auto tune the news, and that's how I first found out about them. Oh, those it's and, those assholes! Yeah, I love those assholes. Doing, and that stopped, but instead of doing that, they did songify this, and they did the happy song, sad side songs, happy, and they still do songify this occasionally. Oh, and it's cool. less news based. Um, but that's that's what I know Songify for. So I don't know if they have a with, however like YouTube doesn't really have copyrights for their channels names as much really. Oh, uh, we can find the licenses. Like we've been having trouble with that recently. I'm sorry. We're just getting used to this. If your stuff is on ours and we didn't know the licenses, we're figuring it out. We'll take it down if we have to. I was sorry. We'll fix it. Yeah. <sighs> I don't think. I don't think. I think we're good. But mm -hmm. like, I think. I think so. Yeah. But. No, nope, nothing there. This has got to be. Uh, if this is not a okay, because it's clearly marked. There's a square. There's a literal square. I'm like, if this isn't a hidden door, I swear to God. So help me. Bam! Zoom straight to the moon. Oh, I remember this part in the the pre the oh pre yeah no, present yeah yeah. And it has the same kind of shit in it. Yeah, it has a useful shit. Yeah. Call you know? back. <laughs> Call. Wait. This, no, this is the past. Call forward. Call forward. <laughs> Is that like... Call waiting? <laughs> ah! Spikes! This an enemy's got barbs. Just like my jokes. Do, do, do. How long has this one been going on? Uh, this one's been going on for 14 minutes so okay. far. So we should probably uh, call it. No, no, not, not until you enter the other room. I probably should have ended it at the health up, but I was, I was just having too much fun. And you know, we can't stop until the party's over. Yep. Can't stop, won't stop. And, and uh, okay. stop. Yeah, there we go. 